So on the right hand side, I just have two different um, uh, folders here. One's called customer land, and I'm going to go into that. And I just have some um, some GZ files, which are just JSON files here with customer information um, that's compressed. And then I have my sales information. So I'm landing sales information, sales files into a new directory for every day. So this is just TPCH data, but I converted it to JSON. So for every day, I'm landing data in here. Well, this isn't going to be very performant. JSON's not very performant in, in the first place. And then having all these different kind of um, uh, folders in here that I have to go search through for these smaller files is not going to be very performant. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this and I'm going to move this data into uh, uh, another section like I showed you in that, that diagram. Um, so this is Starburst Galaxy. If you haven't seen it yet or not, there's a very, very simple interface. We have clusters, catalogs, and querying. So you set up a catalog, connect to your data. You have a cluster, set up a cluster, and then you deploy it, and then you start querying the data. Um, that's another thing I like about it. It's just very, very simple. There's nothing you have to worry about. You can just start querying your data. Again, it's your data. That's the most important thing. So I have a query editor here and I have a little tab up here called blog. So on the left hand side, I'm going to come down into my AWS and I have all my different catalogs and connectors that I can connect to, but I'm just going to connect to S3 here. And I have this little blog schema and there's not much going on in this blog schema here. I've got this view and I've got my two tables here. So let me go all the way back to the top here and I'm going to create a new table. Um, I call it uh, sales line. I'm going to go ahead and just drop that. Okay. So now I'm starting from scratch. I have no tables. Now you notice this, this DDL here is I'm going to create a table that's pointing to um, this S3 bucket, which is what you see over here and see the sales land. So it's going to look in sales land here for any data. And now I'm telling it's ordered, it's a partition by order date. And then I have a format of JSON so it knows what to look for. And my, uh, my type is Hive. So I'm going to go ahead and create this table. And right now I'm just populating, uh, I'm using glue as a meta store. So glue is just storing this information out here, but I don't really know anything about these, these directories that are out here. So I'm going to run this uh, sync real quick here. And we'll give this just a quick second to run. I'm going to come back up to this directory up here. Let me go back up here. And what's while well, this is doing, it's going to go out and read those different directories there. And it's going to tell glue that, Hey, I have these different directories that are out there. Um, so this just takes a quick second. And then what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and create the exact same thing here for the customer information. So the next thing we're going to do is we have this customer table. And that's very, very similar. I don't, I'm not, this isn't partitioned. So I just have a format of JSON, the same thing as a hive. And then I'm going to point to the customer information here. So now just because that's compressed, uh, it doesn't matter if it's compressed or uncompressed. We just see that uh, those files in there no matter what.